Thank you for tuning in for another edition of the Vulcan Report. This is a midday snapshot of Forex. This here is the Euro Yen. The Euro Yen, uh, I like to call the S&P 500 of Forex because out of all the pairs, the Euro Yen seems to move like and with the S&P 500, the Dow, the NASDAQ, the Russell, the Nikkei, the best. It seems that uh, for every uptick there is in the stock market, there's an up thrust in the euro yen and vice versa well as you can see the euro yen is ceasing to continue its upward thrust it's stalling out here and it looks like it wants to start the process of breaking back down again um, this is a, a one hour chart of this market let me pull up um, I'm sorry this is the, the weekly chart I'm sorry weekly chart as you can see we are pulse waving negative we're down down trend channel it's been a steady steady decline here and I think uh, this is going to play itself out going into next week as we can see um, a new level down to new lows so I'm we're looking at a possible I want to say 118 should be in play for next week we'll have to uh, see how this plays out but right now it is looking very weak in the euro yen looking at yen yen is still in its upward momentum here testing the upper resistance uh, 110.73 would be the breakout here 110.73 if it can break out there then the next line is going to be the um, the trend line resistance right here okay um, and that's going to be at uh, 112 and then the next one is this red trend line up way up here which would put us back to 115.52 so quite a long way to go I think it's probably gonna fail here and then we begin another leg down uh, into next week as this downtrend is now pretty much well established both trend lines are below the Kumo cloud and so is price and we've been accelerating extending downward thrust here so I think this uh, th this upward bounce is pretty much almost over. Um, it's it's in the third week now, and I think that's pretty much it. I see uh, it's rolling over going into next week. All right, looking at the pound sterling, pound sterling as you can see, pulse waving positive, but no follow through. We we got weaker here. Um, this one's probably running out of steam too, and setting up for a possible downside going into next week. And I think uh, right now, the thing to really watch is when we get down here to this uh, 139 support area. It's right here is 139.83. If that's taken out, then we could see a rather precipitous drop um, in this pair here. It's trying its best to get back up to this trend line, back toward the 148 level, but it is really struggling right now. Um, I think this one is pretty much done too, even though it's it's caught within a sideways chop within the overall uh, attempted pulse wave positive. So still in a downtrend though, below the Kumo cloud, trend lines below the Kumo cloud, everything's below. So I think that we're going to start to see going into next week. I think um, I think this market's pretty much done. Also, we should start to see a lot of the pairs turn down next week. All right, not to forget the euro. Here's the euro. The euro is dangerously close to pulse waving uh, to the downside. Uh, if this breaks 111.45, we're done. A close below 111.45 this week is going to set the stage for a precipitous decline going into next week as this market goes to test down 10, the 105 area over the next several weeks not looking good right now for the euro as it's in jeopardy of crashing below the Kumo cloud right now it's still stuck inside the Kumo cloud of death but if it, can, if it comes out of there it, that's all she wrote to the downside is looking rather bad overall we're still in a pulse wave positive scenario upward channel but it's beginning to break down and that's the problem uh, in this particular market that's what you don't like to see uh, going on here. So this is a quick video of the currency so that you know where we were as the US dollar 
is uh, attempted to be propped up by the U.S. government as we hit 95.51 today, currently trading at 95.27 and a half. Remember, take what you can, give nothing back. Bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered.